Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 21st to the 27th of April 2014. Now, as you know, last week we had a full moon lunar eclipse at the same time as the Grand Cross. So the lunar eclipse should have delivered its message by now, but the Grand Cross continues. So a Grand Cross is when four planets are in square and opposition, discordant, difficult aspects to each other. But whatever came up is now aired and ready to be resolved. So that's Uranus in Aries, opposite Mars in Libra, Jupiter in Cancer, opposite Pluto in Capricorn. And we've been working with some of these energies for quite a while now, so it's been this building up and this pressure point and things coming out, things seeming at odds or loggerheads, but now there's a resolution to be made. So we should be aware of what it is that we've got on our plate and be able to deal with it slowly. And slowly is the theme of this week. As the sun has just gone into Taurus, the pace slows right down from the racy Aries into the heartfelt earth nurturing sign of Taurus. So the sun's moved into Taurus and that will find us being more connected, more physical, more sensual, but also hopefully nurturing and more heartfelt with ourselves. So we can go in with that slow pace now, we can enjoy the spring as it begins to happen, we can connect with nature more and there's a harmony with Taurus because it's ruled by Venus which has a very harmonic aspect with Earth. So we're dealing with the symphony of the spheres, with music, with balance and that adjustment should be made easier because of this Sun in Taurus energy. The whole story this week is really about Taurus because Mercury moves into Taurus on Wednesday and Mercury is how we process our thoughts. So we've been processing very, very quickly through the Aries aspect again, but now that slows down. We should be able to actually make something constructive of our thoughts, turn them to be productive rather than running around all over the place and driving us crazy or causing any burnout. So Mercury into Taurus, slowing down our thought processes, helping us think on things that are really valuable to us, and to stop to do less, but to do it more deeply. Then as we get towards the end of the week, we have two very reflective aspects. We have the Moon meeting with Neptune in Pisces on Thursday. So this takes us even deeper into the etheric, into the soul waters. So with the Pisces Moon conjunct Neptune, there should be a chance to actually really go in and feel on a cellular, on a soulful level what matters to us, to actually be able to heal some of the wounds that may have been opened during the Grand Cross and to find peace, inner peace with ourselves. And then by the weekend we have the Sun and Mercury conjunct together. So this is the real consolidating factor where the Sun, which is our life force energy, and Mercury, which is our inspiration, and our thought forms being processed through us, our communication at the end of that process, that is completely together on the weekend of the 26th and the 27th. Some astrologers say that this is when we don't communicate very well because Mercury's energy is completely obliterated by being so close to the Sun. But I feel that they actually work as a team so that our thoughts and our actions, our energy and our inspiration are all together and we're actually doing, being, saying and creating from the same space so there's an authenticity and a truth in that. So it's really a week to see what's come up with the lunar eclipse, with the Grand Cross, to consolidate all of that, to slow down with the Sun in Taurus, to go even deeper on Thursday when the Moon in Pisces meets with Neptune, and then to come to full realisation and truthful expression by the weekend as Mercury conjuncts the Sun. So those are the horoscopes for this week, and I'll see you next week.